and um, they have a gross national product of happiness. And some people go, well, they can't do that. I mean, if you think like that, then something's going to get you. you know, something's going to get you. So the whole idea of the World Business Academy having this global vision for a hundred years where we say, this world, this earth, is qualified to be paradise. The point is, at what level are we going to be civilized enough to say, enough? Let's set some goals that are very high-minded and real. Like, let's make paradise on planet Earth, because it's certainly beautiful enough to do that. And by the way, it'll all give us something to do, and we won't have to pay our armies and create all these agencies to pretend that they're enemies out there. And, uh, and we could have a gross national product of happiness, as long as it, you know, doesn't just create happy dolts that are sitting at home waiting for the government to do something, because they're not, because they're watching TV right now. Um, in fact, it's, uh, it's just shocking that we can uh, abide the performance record of our government. And by the way, I'm speaking for all the people on planet Earth they can abide the poor performances of their government, governments and now realize, well, maybe it's just an old idea. Maybe it's out of date, governments. Maybe they're obsolete. I mean, it's just a social invention anyway. But no, we're holding our breath that, by God, somebody up there is going to take care of everything so we can watch TV. Um, and so here we are at a time where uh, we have heard at on one moment, oh no, the rapture's coming. So everybody goes, well, I'll say my little thing to Jesus and then I'll be okay on that recount and then I can go ahead and do, do whatever I want anyway. And uh, other people in the, in the sort of new age say, oh no, let go of everything. This is the time to release all of your worldly ideas because if you do, then the spirit will come in. And by the way, I'm not sure they're, neither of these people are wrong. Get what I'm saying? They could be right. But then on the other hand, you listen to this guy from Russia who goes, hey, you know, we crashed in, in 1980, in the late 1989s, and nobody was ready for it. And pretty soon there were people running down the streets pulling copper wire out of telephones and buildings and, and, and even salvaging manhole covers. It was crazy. Do you guys in America think you are so immune to having things crash around you? Well, it can happen fast. So, ha, huh, here I am, what do I do? So do I get ready for the crash or do I get ready for the rapture? Uh, and you see, but the old way of thinking would be you have to do one or the other, but guess what? If you get a nice piece of land and you start living like you want to get to paradise and all the things that means, and then there is a crash, you're still way ahead of everybody else. So let's go to paradise.